Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a solo nightfall master run on the arms dealer with Hunter. For my subclass, I'll be using Arc Strider top tree with Marksman Dodge. Next, I'll be using the 7 Soda Officer Revolver hand cannon. For my energy slot, I'll be using Cloud Strike, and for my heavy, I'll be using Bad Almonds. For my helmet, I'll be using Fight Mobility. Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder, Sniper Rifle Ammo Finder, War Mines Light. Next, I'll be using Fire Mobility, Anti Barrier Sniper Rifle, Unstoppable Hand Cannon, and Charge Up. For the chest armor, I'll be using Fire Recovery, Solar Damage Resistance, Rocket Launcher Reserves, and High Energy Fire. Next, I'll be using Fire Recovery, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, Rocket Launcher Scavenger with Taken Charge. Next, I'll be using Fire Mobility, Special Finisher, Sunderling Glare with Global Rage. Alright, unfortunately, once again, we're gonna have an unpleasant welcome with a Barrier Champion and Unstoppable. Dealer, there's always gonna be champions in front of you which you can easily get killed if you're not being too careful and I'm pretty sure there are some players who have got killed on their first go with this nightfall. You can actually lure the unstoppable champion up ahead and use the cloud strike sniper. This is probably going to be my last video for this season since next week we're going to have a new season, new artifact mods, and I pretty much know that we're going to have sidearms, which is going to be very sad for me because I really do enjoy using snipers for bear champions. So the predictions from what I see from the trailer, etc, etc. We're gonna have sidearms, fusion, fusion and linear fusion rifles are gonna be the big deal for next season. That's my predictions, but what we will see. We will see. First things first, I killed the ship or destroy it. That way it won't mess up my DPS, clearing out all these ads. So the power of the Cloud Strike. You can do precision headshots and final blows can actually make the lightning attack. Basically, Thunder Lord. Machine gun except the sniper is much better. So I was just throwing nades and I wanted to clear them down. Of course, I forgot about the snipers, so there are two snipers from left and right, far away, always take them down. I would just be a little reckless as usual in my videos. So you can see that when you're doing headshots, final blows, you can make the lightning effect. You can also make the lightning effect when you do three precision shots on tanky mini bosses, just like champions, for example, which I'll be showing you very soon. So now I was just scouting, trying to see if I kill all these snipers, and it looked like I did. So you can lure the unstoppable champion in front of you, and you can stagger it and use a rocket, or you can use the cloud strike. So you can see that I did stagger it, it made a noise, and unfortunately I got bungeed again. And it didn't get staggered, so I had to stagger him the second time, which was very, very annoying. And little things like this can happen, and it's so annoying. I despise the bugs when trying to stagger a champion. You can see that I did miss a sniper. And it's going to be plain trials, PvP mode. So always make sure you take down the snipers. They can one-shot you in Grandmaster. But if you do have solar resistance, they can two-shot you. Thanks 
So now I'm going to deal with this mini gold bar and he loves to play hide and seek and I honestly despise him especially for Grandmaster. If you do get too close to him he can two shot you or one shot you if you're not careful. And another thing I'd like to say, the modifiers, there is aerial of effect or in other words, grounded. So for the love of the traveler and the speaker, do not jump. Just like Glassway where you cannot jump because it does more damage if you're jumping in the air. Same thing with Arms Dealer. So if you do jump in the air, they can melt you pretty bad. And for this week is chap, so there is no radar and honestly there is... It doesn't really bug me at all because, you know, Grandmasters, it's always chap. They always remove the map or the radar. Now, if you go up here, you can take down the Barrier Champion from far away with the power of the Cloud Strike. Honestly, this sniper is my favorite. I'm going to miss it very, very much using it. But hey, you know, every season weapons change, so it's it's alright. Maybe next time we'll have anti-barrier snipers. Probably next year, unfortunately. So, always drop the solar orb halfway. That way you won't spawn the dog. So you can see that I did made the orb charge to drop a bit further. That way the dogs will spawn in the ship. Now for this method, I think it's easier, especially dealing with the bear champion. Because if you don't kill him fast, right? He is going to walk and push towards you and he will try to kill you. Since we're using Arc Strider, I decided to use my super and just kill him without using a sniper or rocket. So always dodge R1, R1, R2. And you will see very soon, especially at the final boss where I did not do that so much because the camera was spazzing. And I was getting a little dizzy, to be honest. Like, my eyes were starting to hurt. I was like, oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> also, I decided not to do time skips for this. And also, this is the 100 video for my YouTube channel, so I might as well make it very special. And the best way to make this video special is just to do a mini trick at the final boss where I'm going to kill myself with a rocket. And yes, you're actually going to see me die from my own rocket on purpose, by the way. And you know, you guys know me, I don't like dying in my videos, but I'm going to do it for you guys. And I actually wanted to make a really easy solo run for this week, especially for players who do want to do a solo uh, nightfall or farm the weapons for master or legend mode. Now, another thing I like to say is there is also another rocket. I'm trying to remember the name at the moment. I think it's called Frostbite. And the rocket is really, really good. I have used it, I have tested out, but unfortunately I don't have the Volpo weapon yet, so I actually do have to farm it. Once we killed Unstoppable Champion, we can resume to the next area. Now this area is very harmless, you can just throw a nade, and like I said, don't jump. Especially dealing with the arc attacks from these cabals. Yeah, don't jump, you will die from it. And I have died many times by accidentally jumping, which I didn't mean to, but they did melee pretty quickly and then I died.
In this area, I'm going to spare all the way from the right side. This method is pretty much what I do for the Grandmaster mode. So I'm gonna go on top of these rocks and go all the way from the left side. And I always just double check where the sniper is, but since he's not paying attention, I can just do DPS with the barrier champion. So you can see here the power of Cloud Strike. If I did have Charge of Light, I'm using Higher Energy Fire, then it would have done much more damage. So now we're going to Sparrow all the way to the tank room. Basically similar as Proving Grounds except this is way much easier and I on honestly like this design better than Proving Grounds. So I'm going to make this tank a big joke, especially using Cloud Strike. You can just do precision shots from left and right from the tank. And you can use a rocket as well if you haven't killed him yet. So because this tank was moving, I decided to just use a rocket, the last one. Then try my best to do more shots until he can be destroyed. So yeah, once you take down the tank, you can take down the void shields, the couple of ads. And another thing I like to mention is in the TWAB they're going to be nerfing the explosive payload. So you can see right here where you can do damage at the at these red ads with the explosive payload. It won't work next time so we will see how that's going to go for next time. And also, they're going to be nerfing the Lament. And the swords won't bypass elemental shields, which is a bummer, but hey, you know, it's Bungie. And yes, I'm taking my time taking down the Supple Champ, and you can see I have no snipers, no rockets, there's really not much I can do over here. Except just spam the kinetic weapon. Another thing that Bungie is going to be bringing is the transmog system, and honestly, I don't like it. I don't want to sound mean and people will disagree with me, but I feel like Bungie is being very, very greedy with this transmog system. It's like if you want to get it done fast with the materials, you basically need to go to the bungee salon to get the cosmetics and you need to pay 10 bucks. And if you want to get 10 of them, which is limited per season, they said. So you're going to be spending 100 bucks. That's like $100 for your haircut. And I won't be messing around with it unless they do some changes, which maybe they will do. Have no idea. And let's not forget about the bright dust. We're going to be spending a lot of practice on shaders compared to now. So now for this part, we're going to be clearing out all the ads and taking our sweet, sweet time. So once we killed Unstoppable Champion, I decided to just rush a bit and deal with the two bear champions. There are a couple ads I did miss, but they keep hiding, playing hide and seek, and I'm just really fed up with them hiding all the time. So like I said, since I'm Arc Strider, I decided to just take down the bear champions. And you can see that the Cabal the arc attacks do melt you pretty bad, so always be careful when using Arc Strider. Now 
So since I took down the two bear champions, I have nothing to worry about at the moment. You can actually just take your time to kill all these red ads. And now we can actually deal with the second tank. So I'm going to do a different method. So I'm going to put the switch on up here and then the switch on from the right side. Or you can call it the left side since we're over here. So once I put the switch on, we're going to deal with three unstoppable champions and a tank. And like I said, using Cloud Strike on a tank, it's going to make it a big joke. So you can actually take your time and deal with the tank. So I decided to use a rocket here since he wasn't turning to the critical spots. Now I finally kill the tank, I can deal with the three unstoppable champions. So all three do like to push and sometimes they back away. So you can just take them down one by one if you want to. Here I decided to just use my rockets, might as well, just to show how it looks like when using rockets with Marksman dodge. So yeah, this may take a little while. So sometimes the unstoppable champions do like to walk away, but then when you walk towards them, then decide to go aggressive. So yeah, I'm just multitasking, just trying to do DPS, both of them at the same time, but it wasn't working out too well, because they, they kept spamming their fire attack. And I was running a sniper as well, so I was debating to use my rocket or not. And I think in this footage, I did use a rocket. Oh, I did. So I did use my rocket because I was trying to save it for the final boss. So because we're using special finisher, I use the finisher to get special. So I can get some sniper ammo. So once we go up, you can use your finisher again, or you can just use your sniper. So now there's these shielded cabals, which you can easily take them down with the sniper. They can be very annoying, but like I said, the power of Cloud Strike. And over here, I think I missed a few shots, which was my bad. He just kept dodging and hiding. It was kind of... It was kind of funny, to be honest. <laughs> so there you go, we finally killed that mini boss. Now we're going to proceed to the pre-boss room. But first things first, we're going to deal with the dogs. So now we're going to proceed to the next area, and it's going to be the final boss room. Like I said before, we're going to do a different strat where we're going to have the boss all the way up in the elevator, and he's going to be sniping you from far away, and we won't activate the elevator to go up to the boss room. Now, back in the day, like for Siege, you can do the chain trick, etc. without killing yourself. But because Bungie did some changes as usual, I noticed they changed the Nightfall. And I'll be explaining what stuff they changed, especially for the boss, which I don't like.
when the door opens, I always try to go from the left side or the right side. Sometimes a barrier champion does push and sometimes it doesn't. It's very RNG, which I don't like. Don't like RNG. And it can be a bit frustrating because you saw there that Unstoppable Champion was on top of the bridge, which he's not supposed to be there, but he is. And now you can see he was jumping back to the ground. And I had to take him down very quickly since he is going a bit aggressive towards me. Another thing I'd like to mention is if you don't kill the Unstoppable Champion, he's going to teleport all the way from the back with the Barrier Champion, so you don't want that to happen. It accidentally happened to me on another run by mistake because I forgot about the Unstoppable Champion when I was doing a test run. And he just teleported all the way from the back with the two Barrier Champions. And honestly, it was probably the worst thing I've ever done in arm stealer and i never knew that he could teleport all the way from the back walking around and then he just teleported on top of the bridge randomly then he was in the ground so it was just so glitchy and it's just best to kill the double champion quickly especially when the final boss is hopping around from the back of the map so unfortunately we had to deal with two berry champions so there are two methods to deal with this. You can snipe from far away dealing with the bear champion. Or if you don't have any snipers, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people won't have it. You can use your super and kill both of them right away. In this video, I did not use my super, but I have tried it out. I have tested out on my other runs and you can kill both of the bear champions with your super. So once I killed the barrier champion, I was just trying to see if I could find more ammo. And I did, so thank you, Bungie. And once I do find more ammo, I decided to go and deal with the next barrier champion very soon. So depending of the boss, So when the boss does jump and hop away and fly all the way from the top, the bear champion is going to jump down to the ground and then you can do DPS. So I was just waiting for the bear champion to jump down the floor. And he will very soon and you're going to see very awkward jumps, really buggy of this bear champion trying to jump down. And he always does this all the time. It's so buggy and glitchy but in this footage it looked like he didn't lag jump like he did in other runs but i'm telling you guys he does sometimes lag jump he gets stuck in the mini ship on top So once I take down the barrier champion, the second one, finally, that's the last one, you can actually take down a couple of ads and deal with the mini trick. So back in Prestige, Nightfall, etc. You, you were able to do the chain trick, you know, jumping on the chain. And then going down, and then the boss will spawn. Now you can't do that here, they did some fixes. So now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to activate the switch. I'm going to clear down the ads. And halfway, I'm going to kill myself, yes, with a rocket. So I can spawn back here. 
and do DPS at the final boss from far away. So like I said, it's just, it's a cool mini trick you can do. I honestly don't really do this unless maybe I'm farming weapons. If I'm farming weapons for the Nightfall, then yes, I would do it. But I have done a video already with Togetherness last month. Alright, so now when halfway you can kill yourself, so I'm gonna do it. And you can see here <laughs> you can see here that I kill myself. Yes, yeah, my first video that I kill myself with a rocket. Isn't that fun? So once you commit suicide because you can't you're just upset with the transmod system, you can activate the switch and stand on this platform. And the boss will be sniping up ahead. So you can see that he's just sniping and you can use all your rockets, all your snipers. And another weird thing this boss likes to do is he likes to snipe and then look the left side. And it's so weird. So you can see that I'm sniping him, then he just he just moves his body from the left side. You know, he's not really happy what I'm doing right now. And it's so awkward to do precision headshots with a sniper. Especially when the elevator is moving, it's very, very hard. Now, another thing I'd like to mention is you can one-phase him. I have tried Golden Gun, Hunter. And to do the one-phase at the boss, everything has to be perfect. Your rockets have to be perfect. And you already know how it is on Cluster Bomb. Cluster Bomb is so RNG. And it's always best to have mobile weapon rocket, which I don't have and I need to farm very, very soon. And you have to be good with the sniper when the elevator is going up. And let me just tell you, I don't know how it's on PC, but on console it is awkward and a nightmare doing sniper shots, critical hits with this boss. Another method you can do is you can one face with a lament. Now I did make a video on togetherness, I'm trying to remember with the lament. And I think I remember I two faced it because my health was very, very low. So now I'm just using all my snipers. And once I use all my snipers and rockets, then I'm gonna go up in the elevator. So when I was using my super, I did not dodge. I thought I did, but I think I got pushed. So, always dodge R1, R1, R2. So, basically, light, light, and then heavy attack. Always do that when doing the Arcstrider Hunter. And you'll see very soon that I did not do that method because the camera kept spazzing a lot and I was getting a little dizzy. And you can see that I have zero sniper, zero rockets. And he is still sniping me a bit. So yeah, always dodge and then do R1, R2. So you can see I did forget to do my dodge in the beginning. And then you can see that, that I didn't do it right. So if I did the dodge R1, R1, R2 correctly, especially beginning, then I would have killed him right away instead of running out of my super, punching him, and then just using my kinetic weapon. So there you go guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys will enjoy this week of farming weapons for arms dealer. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.